in the last episode we extended the users plugin with two new fields so right now if you go to users and we click on john doe uh, we can see this profile tab right here and we can change the data for the biography and the facebook link for our users okay so this works this is all good but if we go to the front page or to the front end of our site and click on login then we can log in as our user now as you can see here so this is the profile page of the user we have the full name email new password and confirm new password but we what we don't have is actually the bi biography field and facebook field uh, so our users cannot get to the back end of our site so they can't change their information there but uh, so that actually means that we have to put those two additional fields on the front end and in this episode i'm going to show you how to do that so currently i am in my theme so themes olympus and then pages and login so this is our login page this is the page that you see right here what we have here is we are checking if user is logged in if it's not logged in then we show him the uh, sign in and register forms but if the user is logged in then uh, we show him this uh, partial account update so this is the update uh, partial that shows these fields right here so how do we do uh, how do we add two new fields right here so first of all uh, we will have to go to uh, rain lab user and then you go to components account as you can see it says partial account and then update then you go to account and then we click on update.htm and as you can see this is the code that shows the form so this is the update form for our user okay so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm just going to take this copy it of course you don't want to change that in the actual plugin because when the plugin updates it's going to uh, revert your changes so i'm just going to copy this out and i'm going to go to login.htm actually i'm going to go to some of my partials right here so for example header so that i cre can create a new file so user update.htm and i'm going to paste that code into that new file okay just, just save this of course what you could also do is you could uh, just go to login.htm remove this and copy this code right there but i want to keep this clean so uh, instead of that i created my own partial with a form and i'm just going to call it right like this so it's not going to be partial account update it's going to be partial update uh, actually user update okay save this let's see if it works so we are still getting the form if i change my name save it okay so the password confirmation doesn't match save this and as you can see now our user is called john dude okay dude okay save it again and now we have our user okay so all of this works so as you can probably imagine adding two new fields right here will be very simple and it uh, would so we are going to go to our user and i'm just going to copy this paste it right here we don't even need this label for it's going to be called Facebook and the input name is going to be Facebook 
So this is the name of our field in our database. The type is text, class form control, and we don't even need this ID. Okay, so the next field is going to be biography field. So and it's actually going to be a text area and also have class of form control okay save this let's see how that looks okay why are we getting all of this oh i know so you have to close the uh, text area tag okay refresh it and now we have this so as you can see we have facebook and we have this bio right here but as you can see we don't have any information in those two fields so i'm going to go right here and copy this uh, line of code because we copied this from the password and the password doesn't have a value value <laughs> so for the facebook it's going to be value equals form value email but it's not going to be email it's going to be facebook and the same thing goes for the text area okay save it right now refresh the page and we have this uh, text right here and for the bio we not getting anything because I probably screwed up the name of the biography field so let's check out our plugin okay so the bio is actually bio why is nothing showing up oh yeah because this is a text area I forgot that again so you have to paste it right here instead of there and i think that should be it we are now getting the value of the bio field and the facebook field okay so now let's try to save this save okay so now we saved it but we are still getting this and we are getting this because we have to uh, do something else in our plugin for this to work. So I'm going to go to the plugin.php, so profile plugin. And uh, what we have to do is we have to extend the user model to allow for uh, biography fields and uh, for the Facebook field to be uh, fillable. So to do that, uh, we first of all just define or use our model right here. So RainLab user models user as user model so that we can use this name uh, down here. And now just like we extended the user controller, we are going to extend the user model. So what I said right here, extend the user model and add fillable fields. And then you open up an array right here and add your fillable fields. So in our case, that will be the field Facebook and field bio. And that should actually be it. I save this, go to this page, refresh it to see if I screwed something up. And let's now try to save this. And as you can see, we have this my Facebook page and hey, for the biography. So as you can see, this works on the front end also. Also just one little note. Uh, so as you saw, whenever I tried to save this data, I had to confirm the passwords. 
of course you could do something to, to split this into two forms and in this other form you would just have a uh, new password and confirm new password and in this form you would have this general data and of course you can uh, visually separate it by putting it in tabs or one below the other or something like that so that you don't have to save the password all over and over again actually i would do that if i was doing a real site definitely okay so this is it for this episode and remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below if you want to ask me questions you can follow me on facebook or on twitter or ask them on youtube or on my website also if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up if you like the channel maybe subscribe and that's about it thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one